What's going on, y'all? What is going on? Thank you. Oh, thank you for choosing once again to click on my channel. This is Oya Oy. I'm simply here to do my job. Get the messages to the collective. How are you guys? Although we've come to the end of the road, yeah, <laughs> it's the end to all the pain. Do you understand? No more drama, no more drama, no more. No more practitioners practicing favors. No more. Yeah, no more sitting in the dark. Come to the light. <sighs> Thank you guys that have been liking, sharing, subscribing. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. Sending love to you. Blessings. Claim your blessings. Bless those that bless me. We blessed. Okay. So someone was sitting in a uh, dark plan with some type of fraud uh, having to do with uh, Facebook or Meta. And that's why I said some people create a lot of illusions. You guys only take what resonates. I'm only here to give it to you. We all a star in our own show, but this may or may not be for you. Um, but someone was sitting in a dark hair trying to create something, some type of illusion. Um. And it's, it's only, I only speak on most of the stuff I've been through, you guys. And I had my Facebook shut down because I started posting some of the things that I was going through. And I knew that, you know, I dipped the phone off. Like, they connected a lot to technology, um, your accounts. We know a lot of people could be working, you know, in those higher positions that take money, that do practice, you know, whatever illusions and whatever they be doing, y'all. It's an end to it. You know, just continue to stay focused. You're not tripping. It is what it is. This is spiritual warfare. People do play a lot of games. And they do it in the dark. They don't like truth. You know, continue to heal. Um, shout out to Unique and Unapologetic. That's my auntie and Tarot. Like, one of the realists, if you don't know. Like, she would tell you, it's, just, it's not about, you know, proving what you know. It's about healing. It's about really healing from all the things that you've been through and experienced and wanting to do better, you know, continue on being the, 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 the who you are, continue being the star, continue being a great person. It just now, you know, you hip, you on game. You know that a lot of people play in the dark and they do a lot of things. Um, someone could have even been dealing with uh, false imprisonment or being in prison. Um, and this had to do with something that was going on on Facebook or whatever it's called now, y'all. I'm not going like, to keep up. Yeah, I got some energy coming up around a, um, a shopping center. I've been picking up two, y'all. Tis the season. Some of these people, you know, we get caught up in these illusions of having to prove our love through material items. And they get crazy if they can't get these things. This is why I explained to my son that there is no Santa Claus. A lot of these kids, they don't get, they don't get presents and stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't get in all, all the little official characters and shit, but I'm telling you, like, some people are really fighting back temptation. They want to, um, you know, do, do something to, to get something that's not theirs. So you guys just protect yourself. Watch yourself if you are going shopping and if you do participate in the holidays, because I got a lot of energy around that. Let's see what the collective need to know. Continue to keep your vibration up. You guys, we, we done been through a lot. We're still here. We have mercy. I'm so grateful to be in divine protection, mercy, favor, and peace and love of the Most High. I always pay homage to my ancestors. I hope you guys are getting connected to your spiritual team. Know that you have spiritual support, okay? You know, you have spiritual support. Go within. Know yourself. Love yourself. Stop looking for things outside of yourself. Stop running to people that don't even know what, what they're going to do. And, you know, 
they're going to tell you something. So I got a lot of people have been doing dealing with um, online dating. It's a lot of fraud that's getting ready to come up. You're going to see I got catfish. A lot of fraud that's around Facebook, online dating, um, people trying to leech off other people. And I guess catching them vulnerable at this time. You know, a lot of people are going through things. They could be staying at home, feeling isolated or alone. I picked up a lot of holiday blues. I don't really celebrate the holidays. I'm just now. We we starting our own traditions, guys. We starting our own families. We starting. We we we, we, we want to. You know, once we break them curses, we we continue on. Start doing what you want to do for you, your children, your family. Start building your foundation. Be the best person you can be. Okay. But I get it. A lot of people have been like in a rut of feeling some type of way because now things are changing. Um, you're starting to see who's false and who's fraud. Let that shit clear out. Let that shit clear out. Let people go through the fire and the flame like you did. You know, a lot of people wish this for you. You can't worry about who wished it for you. We don't wish it on them. We just we just know that God's going to take them through whatever they got to go through to be better people. You know, we, we, we breaking curses and whatever shit that was going on in the background is just coming to the light. Um, but watch this online dating. If you're feeling lonely at the time, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people I'm picking up is doing this online dating and it's going to be something that comes up. Um, attached to this Facebook that a lot of this stuff is fraud. A lot of people want to leech off people, want to, you know, get connected to some type of way. And it said, um, come into my, my inner. Yeah. So somebody want to come into your energy. Okay. So I got a high priestess out here. You could be a high priestess. You could have been dealing with something on Facebook. Um, you found out somebody was a fraud or, um, he was false. And I get that somebody might have been spending money on somebody, too. Let's see. And this card fell out. I'm going to take it. Yeah, it's an ending leading to a new beginning out here. So somebody might have been dealing with somebody they found out is not who they thought they was. That was on Facebook or online. You was dating this person online, okay? You may have even tried to build a foundation or something happened here. Um... And I don't know why somebody took some money for a house. Um, somebody came in on an older feminine and took some money. A contractor, uh, whoever this contractor is, is false. They're supposed to go get some supplies. Okay. Somebody took a loss here, but you about to have mercy. Okay. This is an older feminine. Okay. This was a part of some type of blockage. I don't know who that's for. I'm also getting some blockages coming up around the uh, police department and something that's going on. Yeah, somebody that somebody that didn't know how to love was um, out here creating some type of fantasy um, and also doing some type of blockages here. So they was trying to be a prayer to be somebody. And I don't know why I feel like this person tried to stop somebody, but they came in and took some money. And somebody has a grandfather that just passed here. This could also be a um, African feminine energy I'm picking up too. Somebody could have just had plastic surgery. Somebody could have just had lip fillers or Botox. Yeah, and you need to love. Somebody needs to say, sing the song, you guys. Love, 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 love. Holy love. You give me love, love, love. Somebody needs to love like the Holy Spirit first. Then you'll learn how to love yourself. Like, that's the best love ever. Um. The most high males definitely love you, but somebody's trying to like heal because they just had plastic surgery. So you've been in a, uh, you've been in a, a hermit mode. You might even got a hotel room. Somebody's healing here though, because they just had some surgery done. You need to rest. Okay, somebody's also finding out that they was in a karmic cycle. They are not the father of a, a baby, and I got gunshots out here. So once again, y'all protect yourself. I try to say it on the on the channel as much as I can, you know, heal, everybody love, continue to encourage healing and loving and promoting that shit for real, 
Um, and watching who you're going, involving yourself with, because a lot of these people out here, they simply been through a lot. It's a lot of trauma from, from beginning to the end. And then it's a lot of illusions and it's a lot of pain. And then it's a lot of oppression and it's a lot of, you know, drugs or, you know, something suppressed feelings. And it's just a lot of things that are un, unrest, a lot of karmic cycles here. And somebody is like finding out they're not the father. So they feeling like, they don't want to have no more drama with somebody. And so they will rather either kill this person or hurt themselves. You know, we got to prevent that. You guys, if you even feel like hurting yourself, I, I will admit it is hard to reach out to people and you don't know what's going on. But there are some people that are, are willing to help you, you know, reach out to some hotlines, call somebody um, that may be a head of a, 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 a church that's well respected or, you know, what I'm saying just start getting help if you need it. You know, a lot of us, I, I know I'm going to be connecting to some, some of you guys because I'm most definitely going to be here to help you. But moving forward, we don't want any more drama or pain and we got to heal ourselves first and then separate ourselves from situations. Don't take things into your own hands to where you're willing to harm yourself or harm somebody else. Because I got because whatever this man was caught around, it was a lot of drama and this feminine energy, whatever she was playing with, that's what she was choosing to do. But she didn't know that your, your mistakes or your, whatever you do also puts off a ripple effect. So this, you know, this is why I, I want, I want to do better because I know I don't want my child to experience it. I don't want my friends or anyone I have in my life to experience a lot of things that we go through. If we don't, you know, see that it's a bunch of unnecessary drama and somebody's out here just, you know, they, they willing to hurt somebody. Okay. They found out they're not a father. They could also um, be involved in a court case um, to where they need to come forward and to provide some type of information. And this is a lot on this person's head. So, you know, y'all, yeah, I got a, uh, a feminine energy out here with a lot of money that's getting ready to be involved with a class action lawsuit. Um, so some there could be a class action lawsuit coming out and someone could receive a lot of money. Okay, and it could have to do with some type of fraud that was going on. Also, some type of fraud that was done online. Um, yeah, and it's uh whatever it was, it was legalized illegal activity. So that means somebody had enough money to create something within um you know, online, online dating or Facebook fraud, whatever this big class action lawsuit is, it's going to involve a lot of people. And I had got some too. Have y'all been getting those letters about your privacy being violated by, um, what was it? T-Mobile, AT&T, um, Zoom meeting, Google, whatever. It's been a lot of lawsuits that are going out. So y'all start checking out, checking out some of that stuff. Like if you've been involved because you don't know that your information was compromised or your privacy was compromised some type of way. But I get that there's a lot of people that was with, uh, had a lot of money that was um, sponsoring this illegal activity. So this is going to be coming out, okay? Let's see. What else do we need to know? I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, a lot of people are mad and they religious, okay, but they had evil intentions. So know that, you know, the oppressor comes in any form, fashion. It doesn't matter what they look like, you know, it, it, it's all in the inside. And a lot of these people are getting exposed for being, you know, religious figures or prominent and, you know, inside of whatever roles that they were in. But, you know, they just evil. Their intentions have always been evil and they being exposed about it. Okay, this is why they this they create this big divide, you know, when it comes to uh, religion. We ain't going there today, but, you know. Someone paid to have some type of evidence uh, created or some evidence covered up here that's going to be exposed. It's also having to do with something with a baby. Yeah, and then you got group chat. So something was conjured up in a group chat on Facebook, Metaverse, whatever, whatever it's called, okay? Um, and somebody was irritated here. So somebody's demons was irritated because something was conjured up in a um a group chat. So if something's being exposed, some type of fraud's being exposed between a group chat or something that's on this. I don't even know what's going on, but I'm about to get out of hell. Yeah, many devices. So the devil and his many devices. Many devices was caught up and the white light is shining over it. So there's also, you know, exposure, truth, 
and some justice and healing that's going to be coming from whatever this was going on. Something was hidden here. Hmm. Okay, it's also a hidden grave, a baby, a baby somewhere hidden too. Um, and there, it looks like it was a group involved in whatever this was. What? Yeah, so whoever these people were, they was under some type of spirit. They was low vibrational and they was using a lot of alcohol. So something could have happened here um, in some type of, on some type of trip. And I've been picking it up too. A lot of people, you know, it's like the girl trip nightmare. You know how you seen girls trip and that movie, it was lit. Cause you know, if you can get a group of females like that, that really mess with each other and they really going to rock together, they going to have a ball, right? But it's like, it's always been something like if you go on a trip with a group of females, some shit's going to pop out, especially if some alcohol's involved, secret feelings and shit. Somebody don't like you for real. And this is where a lot of setups happen too. So I was telling y'all to watch these trips that y'all take with some females that y'all think that y'all friends. And really these bitches play with demons. They conjure up spirits and be playing with witchcraft and shit. Because it ain't no telling what they will be into. And I get that somebody was like paid. So, like, either get some pictures of you or do something. Get something on their phone after they get you under the influence of alcohol. Yeah, somebody's got to find out some truth here that's going to hurt them. That you could be, like, on camera or something. Um, after whatever had happened to you happened. Um, but know that your, your ancestors are on it. Okay, yeah. And you've been communicating with your ancestors, too. It's also a secret admirer out here. Um... Someone has a, a wandering spirit, okay? We got a su supporter, subscriber, and a follower that's being told that somebody's sister should have known better. Somebody's sister has, was a savage here, but they should have known better. Hmm. I'm getting that there could be a, a white girl around a, a priest um, that recently slept together. And there could have been some type of drugs involved. What? We're getting ready to get out of here. Just call on for heaven's help. You guys are being told to call on for and ask the heavens what it is you need. You call on everybody else. Okay. Somebody is getting ready to have to worry about a lawyer because they're getting exposed for sleeping with somebody. Whoever this is, they could have, they should have, they could have been, they could have been like, um, I don't know why I'm picking up like somebody in a, um, a law office or somebody or like a lawyer or a prosecutor or a judge or somebody's going to get caught up. We're ordering some female and they're going to be having drugs, sleeping together. Or something's going to happen here. But this is this is none of my business. I don't want to know. Yeah, we're going to go to that situation. Yeah, a lawyer's about to go through a spiritual um, a spiritual jail. You get 